Think a little bit, leg yield off your left leg. Keep slowing her down, slowing her down. Good, and quiet to canter. Good, Leo, slower than that. Good, eyes up. Good, this is a way better canter, good. Look up. Circle right away. Oh. Okay, just circle. Okay, and walk. We're up against the clock, Leo, and we're gonna change our exercise a little bit and see if she actually relaxes as we do something different. So we're gonna come off the left, and I want you to start just trotting over this. So you're trotting over it this way and then turning through the middle of the ring. Okay, so you're gonna canter away, go back to trot down by the end pole, quietly trot over this again and canter away, okay? We are starting point. So just nice, slow rhythm. She might have a look here. Make sure your leg is going to be solid. Zen. You're going to be looking up to the left as she's taking off. Zen, go Good. to the car. Steady, steady. Look left. Good. I thought she was pretty good there. She just jumped bigger than she needed to, okay? But she didn't hesitate. She didn't look down when she jumped she just made a big effort now praise her here there's a great trot good girl there we go now take a little bit of speed away easy make sure your hips are bent slow down slow down there we go good job leo good ride Next time I want you to turn inside the skinny there, okay? Oh. There we go, good girl. One more like that. See if you can keep her trotting. Give her a squish on both reins as you're on the way there. So you're gonna pulse both reins like wait, wait, wait to the jump. Wait, wait, wait. Good, good, awesome. Okay, Leo, praise her and walk. And then what we're gonna do this time is trot that jump and then make a left hand turn and jump the boxes. Okay, so it's a, a little bit of a snug turn. You wanna use the space you do have and be jumping straight over the middle here. Okay. Are Leo and Neo sharing chops and stuff? Uh, yeah. Do you know what? If you just want to keep going with Leo, we'll skip Neo today. Is that okay? What do you think, Neo? Yep. Okay. That would be good because we're having a little bit of a tougher yeah, I see that, day today. So. I like that circle. Good. One more time like that. 
Easy. So now you're posting slow. You're half halting both reins. Now, now, now. Keep a feel. Half halt, half halt. There, good timing. Looking. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Perfect. Good ride, Leo. Good ride. Okay, and walk. Eyes. Good job. I love how patient you were to the box. Right? You didn't think maybe we should go. You just stayed in your rhythm and stayed waiting in your rhythm. Very good. You're getting a workout, eh, Leo? No kidding, huh? Yeah, I think a lot of it is just anxiety about being outside just because she hasn't been out for a long time. Right, and she's all by herself out here, which horses don't really like, most of them. She sure looks in shape. Yeah, <laughs> she's looking like an athlete, that's for sure. Okay, so we're going to do the same on the right. Now you're trotting into the box and then cantering to the cross rail. And then if she's strong or rude, I want you to halt straight. Do not pass the turn, right? The end is the end. Be clear about it. If she's good, but maybe she's on the wrong lead or whatnot, just if she's landing quietly and good, then you can make the turn and work it through on a circle. Okay. Just wait a sec, Leah. I'm going to tighten up her nose band. So I can tell her nose band's not tight because her flash is off center and loose. If you look here, I could fit like almost my whole fist in there. <laughs> so that's not a super effective nose band. So usually we say two fingers, right? With a flash, usually you just want one finger but that's going to be a bit too tight, so I'll leave that there. And then this should be on the tightest hole, because it's even a little bit loose for her. Okay. Make sure you're looking right as she jumps. One, two, look, look, look. Look where you want to go, not where you are going. Good, Leo. Work it through, work the right bend. That's right. Good, so as we do that again, just wanna see her shifting into that right bend earlier. And remember, you're trying to draw a curved line from the middle of this jump to the middle of that jump. Look right. Oh, work the bend. So she gave you two good, clean lead changes there is the good news. The bad news is she's a little bit fast and a little bit out of control. <laughs> Okay, walk a sec. So she's landing Leo off this jump, going straight for about five strides before she turns. So she's landing, she's coming out like this, right? Then she's starting to turn, let's see, oh here, these are your footprints here. So here she's starting to turn, right? Then she gets all the way to the wall, and then she wiggles back. So you need to make a line that you are not going to go past, okay? So when you're there, you're meeting this line to come straight to your jump. You are not to go on this side of it. 
And then if I look between these two jumps, right, on the curve here, middle to middle, actually my line starts a bit too early. So here, I don't want you to go past here either. Okay, so that might be hard for you to see. It's, if the footing was dry on top, it would be more of a different color underneath. I'm gonna put this here for you. Okay, so you're landing, you're saying inside the mounting block, and then you're meeting this line, looking at your jump and not going past it. Okay? Important as riders that we make those visual markers for ourselves that we have to, to make happen, right? Like just if there was a horse there, you wouldn't go that close to the wall. You would find another way. So make it that much of a priority to find the right kind of path to the jump. Easy, easy. Good, now how much better was that? Right back, work, work. Good, Leo, good job, eyes up. Good job. So that was not at all beyond your skill set. Do you know what I mean? That wasn't too hard for you to do, right? You just had to have a marker that you would not go past. And as soon as you had that marker there, you're like, okay, well maybe I'll go here. So much better. Okay, so when you're looking at your jumps, it's A, being organized over the first one, but then your riding brain needs to, needs to right away be finding the best route to get there, okay? So the best route is never going away <laughs> from your jump and then back towards it, right? You need to be getting there a little bit all the time. And then when you met this line, you were very good. Then here, you've got options. If you needed to wait or you needed to go forward, you've got her lined up, it's much easier to do, right? When you're over here, Basically, you're just trying to get over your jump. <laughs> You've lost the ability to really have an effect, especially when it's sort of been out of control that's gotten you there, right? If you had come out to the wall on purpose, under control, found the angle you wanted and ridden to it, that's a different story. Okay, I want you to show that to me one more time and then we'll change that a bit. Outside leg, dig in. Good job. Beautiful lead change, Leo. So that's a good thing we can take out of today. Now back to trot, we need to do this again. You were great uh, to your second jump. She was way too fast to the first jump. Circle, circle, circle. Do not run at that jump. Take all of this speed away. I want her almost walking. Even less than that. Slower than that. Slow your posting. Pulse both reins. Slower. There we go. Looking. Right bend. Right bend. Look up. Whoa. Okay. Zen. So Leo, part of the problem, and we know this with this horse, that she really struggles with her flexibility of turning to the right and lengthening the left side of her body, right? This is something we've been working on that's been a consistent challenge all the way through. 
but she's trotting into these boxes with her head way to the left, okay? So right away, you're set up to not be making a right-hand turn because she's looking opposite, right? She's jumping those boxes with her head over here. So if you can make her a little straighter, straighter on your right ring coming in, this part already gets easier, okay? So use all the space you have. I want you trotting slower than molasses in January and working this rein to get her straight, okay? That's the right trot. Now keep decelerating slower and slower. Work your right rein. Yes, Leo. Wonderful job. One, two, one, two, one, two. Wonderful job. There we go, Leo. The difference to the jump was amazing. I wish we had for a moment the camera here because suddenly I'm standing in front of the jump. Her blaze is lining up with me instead of me not being able to see her blaze because it's turned that way, right? Like it was a completely different setup. Very good. And look, she's all proud now. She's blowing her nose. Good girl, right? She's just her letting go of that whoa, thing that she was hanging on to. Okay. So now we're gonna do the first, the same first two, except you're gonna canter in and canter here, and then canter in and bend the line to this jump. Actually, that is a really ugly turn, I didn't realize. Huh, hang on. <laughs> I thought that was quite a nice bending line where I was standing, and it's really not. So, the, well, the first time you're gonna jump it, you're gonna jump it straight, stay inside the mounting block and jump that one. Then you're gonna come out, go all the way through the corner. Okay, and then you're gonna jump the middle of the jump on an angle. So you're gonna jump it from here. Okay. Okay, so the second time you're coming out, you're meeting this line and you're jumping the middle of the jump. You're staying on that angle, right? Asking her to look to the left. And then over the vertical. Got it? <coughs> so cantering in the first time straight. Remember to have work on that right rein to keep her head and neck straight. Jumping on the half circle, then going out and meeting the angle line. Okay. Can't, yep, all in canter. Eyes. Now think about rhythm and right rein keeping the neck. Good, Leo. Good, make sure you're using all your room. Once you meet the line, you're making a straight track. Whoa. One, two, rhythm count. Good job, Leo. Now work the left bend. That's it, right? We've got to work on unlocking her neck. Good. 
Good, okay, praise her there. And for a new jump, you know, off a little bit of a tricky turn, she was very good and willing there. Good. So both times coming to the boxes, she wanted to speed up, right? You're gonna have to be working that just like you were in the trot to keep her more regular. Okay. Wait for it. she's hesitant I want to see you close your leg but not kick okay then the six was really straight I was super happy with how straight it was and she landed very straight the halt was looking really really good until the end when your helmet went like this right and as soon as you dropped your eye she put her head down and pulled you over the fence so she's training you right so you need to flip that around so you're training her. Circle, take the speed away. <laughs> He's too old for you, Blaze. Good, now be patient, patient. Patient. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is fine. Good correction, Leo. Okay, come talk to me about that. So did she impress you there and you decided to give her a reward? Yeah. Okay. Nice and nice. Yeah, and she waited for you here. She actually waited so well and landed so quietly that she did seven instead of six, right? <laughs> nice so now try. I need you to do the halt again for you <laughs> because last time you got pulled out of the tack, right? We have to make sure that we're training you to be in a good position as well. So even if she's good here, I want you to be quiet about how you ask, but be firm and definite about how you're finishing it, right? You're finishing it looking well, up into the clouds on YouTube. and straight into the halt. Okay? All right, one more thing. Halt, right? Because we're making sure you're getting trained in that area. Because she gave you a good yank there, 
but she didn't get anything out of it. She didn't get a reward. Let's come again. So ideally, we want to still be doing six down the line. So because she's listening and waiting so well, you don't need to half out so much in the line, right? Be a little bit more positive in your ride about, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? This is good to see on this right lead that she's waiting so well, but we want her to be on a more regular stride length. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready and halt. Yes, thank you. Good job. Okay, praise her. Good job. And she can finish with just a little bit of trotting. Good, Leo. So those last two halts, now you're going to see this on your video and you will not believe the difference, right? The body language is amazing. When you crumple, she just takes you, right? She will happily just pull you right over the fence. And when you're firm, she's much, much better, okay? Still maybe not perfectly submissive, but certainly not trying to see what she can get away with. Right, and ultimately when she's got respect for your authority, then she's going to be an easier horse to ride because she's not always going to be trying her own things and experimenting. Right, we want her to trust that where you're telling her to go is right and what you're asking her to do is right. And we know she has a lot of heart that if you make a mistake, she's willing to help out, like at the jumps if you're a bit long or whatever. She was willing to help out. That's great. That's priceless. But we're not allowed to push past that into her taking over and making up the plans, right? Okay, good job, Leo. I'm just going to be ruthless with you about those eyes, okay? <laughs> What a big difference on the right side though as you went. Big improvement. Let's go to canter again. You're going to jump this jump, turning inside the mounting block and jumping the boxes. Then we're going to go up the line in six strides. And six is a little bit quiet. So especially if she's wanting to be strong, you need to be landing and balancing right away. Now when you do your circle up here, try not to circle right through the, through this area, right? Make your circle really big, come out here where the footing's a bit better. It's just right in that middle section that's quite deep. Half on the outside rein. Nice rhythm, Leo. That's the canter for your whole course. Good job. Now make sure you're in the same canter you started with. Whoa. Whoa, two, three, four, five, six. Now make the left bend and a big circle. All the way out by this oxer, slowing it down. So I was absolutely thrilled with your canter that you started with, right? Really, really great first jump. Even though the distance was a little forward at the second jump, she was on a good canter and she was straight. So she just stretched nicely and jumped it well. Okay, good canter through the turn again, and then she started to speed up the second time to that fence, right? So that's where you need to remind her about being patient, and then you won't have to work so hard in the line. Okay, so give her a little pad and a little walk break, and then we'll do that again. Ah, the sun's really coming out. Yay. <laughs> There's some ominous dark clouds over there, though. I don't know about that. Yeah.
Okay. Okay, let's do that same course again. So again, you want to start with the same good canter that you chose last time and stick with it. Don't let her talk you into going quicker and quicker. Good, steady, 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 steady. Okay, we're gonna start again, Leo, walk. So why are we gonna start again? Yeah, it went too wide and part of that was that she was speeding up, right? So as she was speeding up, you lost your steering, basically. So landing, your first jump was good, but you needed to land and steady her, balance her, half halt her as you were turning, right? She landed and started to speed up and the turn got too hard. So be ready to land and balance as you're turning. Okay, let's start there again. Wait, 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 wait. Good. Make sure you like your canter. Good with your eyes. Stick with it. Whoa. Whoa. Two, three, four, five, six. And halt. Halt. Left leg, left leg. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good, gently back up. Eyes up, eyes up. Good, okay, turn left. No, don't let her take your reins. Come on. Be disciplined, make her be disciplined. No more rooting allowed. Okay, canter forward, we're gonna come to the last line again. Slow and steady in, slow and steady in the line. This is a great canter, Leo. This is the canter we want up the line as well. Wait, two, three, four, five, six. Six. A little better. Halt. Left leg. Stay back in the saddle. So we need to just get the job done a little earlier in the halt, right? You can see how far away from the jump you've gotten. Okay, so the line was better. It was after the line that she started to run through your aids, and that's where she's going to meet the wall of the halt. Okay, same plan, same quiet canter. Quiet into the line, quiet out of the line, and halt if she doesn't wait for you. If she doesn't stay on the rhythm that you've set. Whoa, whoa, two, be firm. Be firm, and halt, left leg, left leg, left leg. Do not turn. Back her up. Back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up, faster. Thank you, and stop. Whoa, we do not fly over the fence, thank you, Blaze. 
Okay, this is the end of the line, right here. Remember we talked about making a marker. Make a marker for yourself. The door of the shop, do not let her go left. Right, and then your butt needs to be in the saddle so that she doesn't pull you over the fence like that. Okay? You're tough. You can do it, just like the turn between those jumps. You just have to be strict with yourself. He's riding beautifully overall, you know? It's just that little killer instinct. I need to light that little bit of fire there. Make sure that he doesn't be passive. Good. Good, Leo, what a difference. Now you know where the end is. Yes, thank you, look up. Good, and praise her. So if you had gotten out of position, she would have pulled you over the fence again, but you did not. You stayed where you needed to stay. She kept her nose up and did not push into the fence. Not only did she not push into the fence, but because you were here and you were strong, her first reaction instead of leaning over the fence was actually to back up quietly, right? Which is a submissive reaction. So perfect, then you don't need to back her up. You can just say, oh, perfect, thank you. That was all I wanted, right? She self-corrected, but she only self-corrected because you were right. Do you know what I mean? Right, you're the leader, right? So if you're right and you're clear and this is how it is, then she's like, okay, all right, I can accept that, right? But if there's any wiggle room, she's a dominant personality. So right away she takes over, right? You're not in position, I'm gonna take you over the fence. No, <laughs> not allowed. That was your best six, do you agree? Most consistent up the line, not rushing, right? And then the halt was like the cherry on top. Just finished it. Okay, good. Okay, we're gonna come the other way now. So right lead, I know it's harder. You be tough about it. Right lead, slow two, slow two, slow, jump in. Slow two, three, four, five, six. You might have to be in your tummy muscles to get it done, right? And then you know where the end of the line is. If she lands nicely, you can turn and circle. But if there's any gray area, you're gonna halt. In fact, that's gonna be your plan A, okay? So you're only gonna turn if she surprises you with how amazing she is, and then, oh, thank you very much. Now we'll turn, right? That's where the, the rider's adaptability comes in, our feel of, do we wanna reward this? Yes, we do, or, oh, we need to fix this, need to correct it, okay? All right, so try to find that same canter off the right, even if you need to take a big circle and work on it here. like a Grand Prix prony. Yeah. Wait until we get bucking. Zen on him. Bucking, yes. Is he bucking lots? Yeah, no. Okay, well, but get the bucks he, out of him. He thinks he can get me on. <laughs> well, let's see some bucks. Did you get some bucks? No. You didn't give me the camera. He started bucking before. Beforehand. Well, that's hard. It's sad. <laughs> yeah. So I told you the Grand Prix pony. <laughs> yeah. Are you stuck? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, get off. Neil. 
Are you caught, Neo? Nope. I'm gonna take fire on this. Make fire? Do you up a gang of star? Up a gang of star, yeah. Up a gang of Do that thing you do like unya ta ta ti ya ta ta ta. Okay, unya ta ta unya ta ta unya un unya ta ta unya ta unya ta u. Do karate. Do kung fu. What is that? What is that, Zen? A grenade. A grenade? Yeah. I think so, it's grenade. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here you go, Zen. <laughs> okay. Put his feet in the stirrups. I run. Okay, you hang on there, Zen. And here, make sure he's in the middle of the seat. Yeah. The seat centered. Give me that. Give me that. Guys, the air gets back a bit. Is there? Mm-hmm. Uh. I'll go faster. You want to go over a jump? jump? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Just go fast. Go, go! Faster! Just go fast. Come on. You gotta go back and then forward. Come on, come on. Da 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 Little pony, my little pony, my little pony, my little pony. <laughs> Have you heard a good song? The, I'm saying Pepper. Pepper. Is that song good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My little pony. 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 Okay, over the poles. Then you're ready to jump? Yeah. So you're going to jump back? Uh-huh. Dun, dun, dun.
Yay! And we'll really jump! Again, another jump? Let's go over this one. Yay! Yay! Now go this way! This way! Oh, this place so fun. This place so fun. Yeah. Don't smash right there. In there? No, that thing. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, hold on. Fast then? No. Yeah, fast. You want to go even faster? Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> oh. 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 Is that scary? No. Say hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Okay, put your helmet back. Is that fun, Zen? Yeah. You like pony ride? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ghost, I don't like you. He always do that. Really? Yeah. Go, Jaja, get off me, Jaja, like that. Oh. I think he likes you. Huh. I think so. Yeah. Mm. Say hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, grandpa. Hi, grandpa. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Buck, buck, buck. Oh! oh, your foot's stuck. You can't get your foot out. Those aren't very good. Can you get your foot out? Ready? Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay, do that again. Oh, you're all caca. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're all dirty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go take him and Zen in the back and untap? Thank you, Blade. No. Pepper? Say thank you, Pepper. Okay, thank give Pepper a big pepper. hug. Good hug. Mm. Mm. I'm so dirty now. Oh, you gotta brush yourself off, okay? Uh -huh. You want kiss? I, I can't. My hand's cold. <laughs> okay, go around. You go with Pepper. <laughs> faster, faster! Neil, fast! You want to go faster? Go. Go fast. <laughs> oh, cat, cat, yeah, cat, cat.
the tank. Yeah. You want to do that again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>